da 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 Hey guys, it's just me, just sit back for another video. And today, my friends, we are embarking on a journey. A journey into screen printing. Because I am working on a secret project. Basically, we had a shirt making unit in art my sophomore year. And I made two shirts because I didn't like the shirt she provided. So I brought a shirt to make another shirt of my design. And then I gave the first shirt to my dad because it, it was too big for me and it, and it fit him. And then my mom was like, well, I want one. And I was like, oh, <laughs> whoops town. I think you know where this is going. And she's been giving me a hard time about this ever since. Well, that is going to cease after this secret project, which is making a shirt for her. Yeah, <laughs> it's this design. Sloth love, oh yeah. No one will give Sydney a hard time, and I kind of feel bad, and it'll be a nice surprise. So, I've started this project already. I secretly ordered stuff on Amazon. I secretly researched screen printing techniques into the dead of night. So we about to discover the wide world of screen printing. It's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Let's get started. Exacto knife. Be careful with knives, kids. Got Sharpies. Cutting mat. Can't see that. Stencil film. And scissors. I've looked up different methods of screen printing and the way that we did it in class, I couldn't find anyone explaining that again. Our art teacher chose the most complicated way for us to screen print. So this time, I'm gonna use the less complicated method of stencil film. <laughs> so, I mean, we've got this paper on the back of the stencil film. Um, I don't know what that's about. We don't need all this. I didn't know this paper would be so big. And I have a lot of stencil film good dudes, guys dyes, goods. I've got a lot of this stencil film goods. I didn't know this much was coming. It was only like nine bucks. I am ecstatic. I thought it was gonna be one of these. Three packs of six. First up in screen printing, cut out your stencil, my dude. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got my thing traced over. You want that so I don't cut it. And now I've got to cut it out. Okay, so I've quickly realized this paper over the, the stencil is not, it's just gonna rip when I try to cut it. Oh, would you look at that? It like, transferred over <laughs> isn't that fun so I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna get to cutting now <sighs> another piece out Ooh. this is gonna take a very long time. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I've gotten to today. Um, I cut out a bit, but I've gotta clean it up now because my mom is about to be home. So we'll pick it up next time. This is fun, it's like a book club, but it's stencil club. I hate cutting this out, but hopefully we'll get done next time. Ah! Hey guys, it's just me, just editing Sid, coming to you live from the future where I am editing this very video. 
From here on out, the road to the screen printing becomes a little more disjointed. So I am here with my future wisdom to help help patch the holes in this narrative. <laughs> so the stencil, I finished cutting out the stencil itself uh, off camera because I hated doing it so much and I couldn't bring myself to even set up my camera to get some more time lapse. So I did that on my own time. And now what you're about to see is me in the garage yo uh, spraying the stencil pieces with spray adhesive and adhering them to the screen. Back to you, past Sid. <gasps> Welcome back, I'm making the stencil. So after dramatically pulling on my latex gloves and some impromptu ASMR, I set to work gluing the pieces of stencil to the screen. This was not without its difficulties as with every single step in this entire process. No! I kept dropping the plastic eyes of the sloth first after I sprayed it and it fell on the ground because the spray sprayed it onto the ground, which I was not anticipating. So as I was struggling with the spray adhesive and the pieces of plastic, my dad must have felt a disturbance in the crafting force and came to check on what on earth I was doing. Well, I sprayed it and then it dropped onto the floor. Uh, it doesn't look too bad though. Yeah, looks all right. So after dropping and making a new eye for the second time, no, I dropped it. Ugh. Okay, so I'm back. I dropped the eye on the ground and it's lost history. But now I've cut another one. I'm gonna stick it on. Got tweezers this time. I once again pulled my gloves on in an equally dramatic fashion, but not before I discovered I could make this noise with the new gloves. And with a little help from my father, I was able to complete the screen. And we were ready to screen print. And ready to go. All right, so then it was time to screen print at long last. It was actually several, several days, maybe several weeks after I made the frame before I could screen print because I put too much spray adhesive on so it took a very long time to dry in my closet in the closet. When screen printing day arrived, we were ready. We were ready to put this thing to bed. And I got my dad to help me again. Hi guys, just me, just Papa, here for another video. So yeah, that's what I call a shirt. There was also a dance break with some music that I cannot play because it would get copyrighted. So here is a royalty-free equivalent with the same BPM. After we were done with the printing, I put the shirts in my closet in the closet so that they could dry in secret. Okay, well, here we are. The shirts are dry. I just need to iron them so that it heat sets and uh, makes it permanent. Yeah, I'm really happy with the result. Yeah, I, I gave her the shirt. She loved it. Yeah, that is that's all I have to say, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> That was my adventure into screen printing. There was ups, there was downs, there was a roller coaster of emotion. I honestly can't believe that it actually worked. Like I just did this thing, I ordered the stuff, I looked up how to do it and I did it. Like this doesn't usually happen so smoothly for me. So if you liked that video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, as always, don't forget to eat your greens. Bye guys.